Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number four from the January 2022 Pure Mathematics P3 International A Level Ed Excel exam. And this question here is about exponentials um, and logarithms. The growth of a weed on the surface of a pond is being studied. The surface area of the pond covered by the weed, A meter squared, is modeled by the equation. A equals 80 times P e to the power of 0.15 T over P e to the power of 0.15 T plus 4, where P is a positive constant and T is the number of days after the start of the study. Given that 30 meters squared of the surface of the pond was covered by the weed, by the weed sorry, at the start of the study and 50 meters squared of the surface of the pond was covered by the weed t days after the start of the study show that p is equal to 24 okay so 30 meters squared was covered by the weed at the start of the study that means when t equals 0 a was 30 so we have to basically solve the equation by replacing the a with 30 and the t with 0 so this is going to be 80 times p e to the power of 0 basically because 0 times 1.5 is 0 over p times e to the power of 0 plus 4 okay so now what will this give us this is 30 equals this is 80 e to the power of 0 is equal to 1 anything to the power of 0 is 1 so it's 80p over p plus 4 if we cross multiply we have 30 times p plus 4 just get rid of the fraction multiplying both sides by p plus 4 equals 80p so we have 30p plus 120 equals 80p so 120 is equal to 80p minus 30p which is 50p so that means p is equal to 120 over 50 okay that gives you 12 over 5 which is that's going to be 2 and two-fifths which is equal to 2.4 which is what we had to show so p is equal to 2.4 we've shown that very clearly and that's part a of this question done okay now we're going to move on to part b now part b says find the value of t giving your answer to one decimal place so this is what we found so far p equals 24 2.4 sorry we know the equation and we know that after t days which is what we have to find, capital T, um, 50 meters squared of the surface of the pond was covered by the weed. So we have to solve now the equation. We replace A with 50. So 50 is equal to, now we know the value of P is 2.4. So this is 80 times 2.4. So 80 times 2.4, 192. So you have 192 e to the power of 0 0.15 T over... Uh, 2.4 e to the power of 0 0.15 t plus 4. Okay, we have to solve this equation. So what we can do is um, we can multiply both sides by this to get rid of the fraction. So we have 50 times 2.4 e to the power of 0 0.15 t plus 4 equals 192 e to the power of 0 0.15 t. So 50 times 2.4, that's going to be 120, I think. 50 times 2.4, we get 120. So you have 120 e to the power of 0 0.15 t plus 4 times 50 is 200 is equal to 192 e to the power of 0 0.15 t. So we have an equation. I can bring these two like terms together. Okay, I can bring these two like terms together. Yep, yeah, so I have... Um, 200 equals 192 e to the power of 0 0.15 t minus 120 e to the power of 0 0.15 t. Um, so 200 is equal to, that's going to give you 72 e to the power of 0 0.15 t. So we can say that e to the power of 0 0.15 t is equal to 200 over 72. 200 divided by 72, 25 over 9, 
So we got e to the power of 0 0.15t is equal to 25 over 9. So to solve this equation, we can take the the lin of both sides of this equation, take log to the base e of both sides, which is a lin of both sides, in which case this will become 0 0.15t equals the lin of 25 over 9. We're going to solve an exponential equation like this. We take the log to the base of the number to which the um, the variable we're trying to find the value of is in its power. So we want to find the value of t. We have to take log to the base of this number and log to the base of e is lin. It's known as log to the base of the natural number, which is e is known as. Now, so t is going to equal the lin of 25 over 9 divided by 0 0.15. So let's see what that gives us. So we have the lin of our answer okay divided by 0 0.15 gives us 6.8110 so t equals 6.8110 dot 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 now they want the value of t so this is actually our t now this is capital t so therefore we can say t is equal to at one decimal place 6.8 days Okay, C is equal to 6.8, basically. All right, so the T, as soon as we put in 50, this actually, we should have written this as, as capital T. There's no problem. Okay, we can say here, when T equals, uh, when when A equals 50, T equals capital T, something like that. So therefore, we got T equals 6.8 days. At the end, we could write that down, but really, probably be better if we wrote down at the beginning this as a capital T. As soon as we replace this with 50, we could have put T as capital T. Okay, but I've just written that at the end. When A equals 50, T is capital T. Therefore, T is equal to 6.8 days. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. And now we're going to do part C. Okay, part C says, the weed grows until it covers the surface of the pond. Find, according to the model, the maximum possible surface area of the pond. Okay, so now um, we have A equals, and this was um, 80 times 2.4, which was 192, yeah, 192. E to the power, e to the power of 0 0.15 t over um, 2.4 e to the power of 0 0.15 t plus 4. So we want to find the value of A when t is going to, become really big okay we're going to find what's the what's the limit that a reaches as the time gets really big so we can do this in um, a number of ways i'm going to first show you it's only worth one mark so you can just write the answer down really in this question you don't have to show the steps but i'm going to show you how to show the steps for this okay oh, i'm sorry first i'm going to show you how to just get the answer then i'm going to show you how to show the steps so what i'll do is i'll set this up in my calculator 192 and I'll put um, e to the power of something, I'll leave it blank for now, over 2.4, again, e to the power of something, which I'll leave that blank for now as well, okay, plus 4. So I've set this up as it looks here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace the power with something big, like, for example, when t is, say, 100. Let's just choose 100. And I'll replace the one on top is also with a big number like say 100 we'll make it make it even a thousand and see what happens a big number and press equals uh, it gives me math error so let's go back to making it a bit less let's make it 100 maybe you couldn't handle that number there so let's make it 100 press equals it gives me 80 okay so we can say that the maximum surface area is 80 okay we can say that as t approaches infinity a approaches 80 okay so we did that by just using the calculator at first it said math error so what you can do is you can just go down a bit until you get to a number that you can handle all right um now what's the reason for that well, well i'll show you the algebraic method of showing this now what i'm going to do is i want to ex i want to end up with just one e to the power of something term not two of them just one of those terms so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to multiply the numerator by e to the power of minus 0 0.15 t 
thereby I have to multiply the denominator by the same thing. Okay, that way what happens is the numerator, you have these two multiplied, the powers, you add them together, you get e to the power of zero, so you're left with, on the numerator, 192. And the denominator, when I multiply this term by that, the same thing happens, I'll have 2.4, and that'll become e to the power of um, zero, which is going to give you just 2.4 times 1. And then I have 4 times this. I'll have plus 4 times. Now e to the power of negative 0.15t. Now I've only got one term with the e to the power of something on it. It makes me. It makes it easier for me to, to picture what's going to happen. So what, what's going to happen now, this is like 192 over 2.4 plus 4 over e to the power of 0.15t. Writing like this will help us understand what's going on. Now, as t approaches a very large number, then 4 over e to the power of 0.15t um, approaches basically 0 because this, beco this becomes a really big number. It's 4 over basically infinity. e to the power of infinity will give you infinity, it will give you um, a, very big, a very big number. So this is going to approach 0. Because 4 divided by a very large, something divided by a very large number is going to give you 0. As this gets really, really big, okay, this is going to end up becoming close to 0. So as t approaches infinity, this approaches 0. Therefore, a approaches 192 over 2.4 plus 0. a approaches that, okay, which is going to be 192 divided by 2.4 is 80. Okay, 192 divided by 2.4 gives me 80. So that's the reason why 80 is um, the maximum possible surface area of the pond. Okay? Um, so that's how we can deal with that. So, you know, the way to do it is just replace the t with a really big number. If the number is so big that it makes the calculator not be able to handle it and it gives you math error, reduce it like I did to 100. And then you saw that it gave us 80. But this is the reasoning behind it. You don't. I don't think you need to go through this all this reasoning because it's only worth one mark. But for those of you who want to understand why it comes out as 80, this is the reason why. And if they ever do ask you, this is what you'd have to show. It's using some sort of limits here. Okay, so that's the answer to question number four from this P3 paper from January 2022. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions from... Um, this topic of um, exponentials and logarithms from P3 can be found in this area and you can click on the link over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.